Hello and welcome to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Dolan Iron Shield, and this is a Lotro Guide series playlist videos we're doing. This one will be focusing on the class Rune Keeper, which is one you will have to purchase if you're on free to play, or it will come with the Mines of Mori expansion. So, Rune Keepers have HP, right? And they use mana for their abilities. Now, this is important to you, no guys. Down here is this atonement thing, right? I think I believe they use the term atonement for these um, things. Let's see, make sure. Yes. Attunes or tone. Yeah, I'm gonna call it atonement because I like that better. So basically when you're casting abilities This will go up, right? So watch for example my cast this ability see how that went up slightly The more you build this up the more you'll be able to use other abilities in the damage Which is red is damage. There's kind of like three kinds of magic they use that are in all of it They have like an ice magic type which these are all tactical magic damage, right? They have lightning abilities that are quick and fast and they have fire abilities that are over time long Okay, let's bring up this trait tree real quick now. So, you know understand this so there is the benefit uh, uh, Benediction of peace, right? Sounds like something straight out of a monk monastery. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, so blue line provides healing over time support to allies. This is your main healing, guys. When you spec this, you're gonna have tons of healing abilities, and you're gonna be mainly using the green side. When you're using the green side, you can't really use your red side abilities unless they say they don't need higher level atonements. You can see, like this one needs, you know. Um, they'll tell you if they need high level atonement, right? This needs a three a level three in healing to cast So I have to use other healing abilities first like this one to build this up where I can cast these other abilities, right? Moving on so that's the healing one, right? So that's good you know for that system and how they work because these real quick videos if you want a more complex video Let me know guys in the comments about rune keepers red cleansing flame This is mostly gonna be fire damage, right? Deals damage over time. It's like a DOT bleeds people using induction which means overtime abilities, right? So you can get interrupted while you're using them. But you stand in the back and you're casting magical spells. You're like, whoa, fire blast, right? Got it? This one, this one's where you can run around and shoot lightning, basically. Short range damage, instant damage. So you don't really have to stay in one place. You're casting and doing induction. You're fighting and running around and kiting and using lightning damage, right? That's your yellow tree. This is all good stuff to know. All right, and I want to go back to this tree here. All right, good, right? So there's all your abilities. Lightning, yes, and these runes of magical power, right? It's pretty cool, actually. Yes, look at my rune stone. Shoots lightning, yes, very cool, right? It's very cool. All right, so anyway, that's good to know. That is rune keepers. They're very, very, very cool. I like rune keepers a lot. They're very fun to play. But please, choose your class what you want. I hope this helps you out. Again, I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. Please, please, like and subscribe to the video, guys. It really helps me out. There's a subscribe button right here, and or in the bottom corner. And then over there, there's my main playlist, Lutra Tail, which check that out. And I also have a video on the um, the trait tree panel, if you want to check that on the same playlist, a Lutra Guy. And then on the next video on the playlist there, and check out all the classes, right? Please like and subscribe. Subscribe, it really helps me out. All right, you guys, you're the best. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. See you in the next episode.